In this video, we will demonstrate how to perform front-end cleaning on the system. We will provide you with two approaches to cleaning the interface components, routine cleaning and full cleaning. Routine cleaning should be performed daily, and full cleaning might be required when there is contamination, reduced sensitivity, high background noise, or if a full cleaning has been scheduled. Full cleaning requires venting the system. Here, we will list the materials for front-end cleaning, with the materials highlighted in bold only needed for full cleaning. Powder-free gloves, safety glasses, a lab coat, fresh high-quality pure water, deionized water, MS-grade methanol and isopropanol, suitable cleaning solutions such as 100% methanol, 100% isopropanol, a one-to-one -one acetonitrile water solution, or a one-to-one -one acetonitrile water solution with 0.1% acetic acid. A clean one liter or 500 milliliter glass beaker to prepare the cleaning solutions, an additional one liter beaker for used solvents, an organic waste container, lint-free wipes, polyester swabs, a Phillips screwdriver, Alkanox, a separate supply of clean dry air and nitrogen, and optionally, a 5 milliliter disposable syringe with no needle for advanced cleaning of the orifice plate. Before front end cleaning, deactivate the devices in Cyx OS software. In Cyx OS, select configuration and then select deactivate. On the instrument, remove any relevant tubing and remove the ion source. Then remove the curtain plate. To clean it, place it with the conical side up on a lint-free wipe on a clean, stable surface. Dampen a lint-free wipe with pure water and clean both sides of the curtain plate. Repeat this step using a suitable cleaning solution. Then, using a dampened wipe or a polyester swab, clean the aperture of the curtain plate. Inspect the current plate for any solvent stains or lint, removing any residue with the lint-free wipe. To clean the from the orifice plate, dampen a lint-free wipe with water and clean the from the orifice plate. Then repeat the step with cleaning solution. Wait until the orifice plate is dry, then inspect the orifice plate for any residue and remove it with a damp lint-free wipe. For full cleaning, the system must be shut down. Please see the video in this section on system shutdown. Then, the orifice plate in QJet Ion Guide can be removed. While supporting the orifice plate, push on the latches to eject the orifice plate away from the body of the mass spectrometer. Do not use tools to pry the orifice plate from the mass spectrometer. If the orifice plate does not eject, the system may not be at atmospheric pressure yet. Carefully place the orifice plate on a clean surface with the guide pins facing down. Never place the orifice plate with the cone facing down. To remove the QJ ion guide, grasp the QJ ion guide and pull it away from the system. Place the QJ ion guide onto a clean surface. Using lint free wipes, clean the inner metal portion of each side of the orifice plate. For further cleaning, you can clean the aperture of the orifice plate with a syringe. Put the orifice plate on a beaker and fill the syringe with cleaning solution. Inject a cleaning solution through the aperture of the orifice plate. Invert the orifice plate on the beaker and repeat the procedure. Then rinse the orifice plate with LCMS grade water. Then use clean dry air and nitrogen to aid in drying, and it can then be reinstalled in the system when other cleaning steps are complete. You can perform a basic cleaning or an advanced cleaning of the QJet ion guide. Begin by removing the ion guide and put it on a clean, stable surface. To perform a basic cleaning, hold the ion guide with the IQ0 lens side down over a large beaker or equivalent container that will catch the solvent. Then pour LCMS grade water over and through it. Then repeat using methanol. Then use clean dry air and nitrogen to dry the QJet ion guide. Inspect the ion guide of solvent stains or lint, removing any residue with a clean, slightly damp, lint-free wipe. Note, that any persistent spotting or filming is an indicator of contamination. 
To perform an advanced cleaning of the QJ Ion Guide, first remove the IQ0 lens and isolation shield using the screwdriver and place all the items on a clean, stable surface. Then begin preparing the Alkanox solution. Empty an Alkanox packet into a clean, dry glass container. Add 25 milliliters of hot water while stirring. To prevent burns and damage to the cleaning tool, avoid using scalding hot water. Continue adding water 25 milliliters at a time until 100 milliliters has been added. The result should be a foamy, saturated solution with the Alkanox powder being dissolved as much as possible. Then begin pouring hot tap water over and through the ion guide to rinse it. Immerse the brush in Alkanox solution. Insert the brush into the center of the ion guide, applying a liberal amount of foamy Alkanox solution, and scrub for one minute. Do not immerse the ion guide into the Alkanox solution to avoid contaminating the solution. Also, avoid any contact between the metal handle of the brush and the rods, and do not bend the brush handle. Repeat these steps on the IQ0 lens and isolation shield until all the items and surfaces are cleaned. Pour hot tap water over and through the iron guide for 3 minutes while rinsing any soap from your gloves. Make sure that all the residue has been rinsed away. Watch for evidence of water beating on the surface to confirm that the iron guide is clean. Rinse the IQ0 lens and isolation shield with hot water as well. Under a fume hood, Pour 100 to 200 milliliters of isopropanol or methanol over the ion guide, IQ0 lens, and isolation shield, making sure it is applied to the entire surface. Catch any waste and then discard it into the appropriate waste container. Using isopropanol and methanol will facilitate drying. Use clean dry air or nitrogen to dry the ion guide and related components and be sure to remove all droplets. Wipe off any remaining spots with a lint-free wipe dampened with isopropanol or methanol. After drying, using the screwdriver, reassemble the QJ ion guide by reattaching the IQ0 lens and isolation shield. Now it's time to put the mass spectrometer back in service. Align the locator pin in the mass spectrometer with the hole in the ion guide and then install the ion guide. Push it until resistance is felt. If properly seated, it will pop out slightly when released. The notch at the front of the ion guide aligns with the hole at the back. If the ion guide is not properly seated, then pull it out and turn it slightly and try again. Then reinstall the orifice plate. Align the pins of the orifice plate with the corresponding holes in the mass spectrometer. Make sure the sealing o-ring is on the interface pressing on the ceramic body of the orifice plate. Insert the orifice plate, pushing it into place until two clicks are heard. Then reinstall the current plate in the ion source and reconnect any solvent lines. Then, start up the system. Please see the video on system startup in this section. Then, in Sykes OS software, go into the configuration tile and click Activate Devices.